champion. That's all she needs, just one moment. Her little confidence is taking a pounding right now, one, baby. Two, three. Penelope Peak and Lana Star will keep that WoW World title in their possession for as long as they possibly can. Not today, says Penelope. You just witnessed why we are the elite. When I said I am the best damn thing that WoW has ever seen. I meant it! So McLean, line them all up because I'm gonna knock them all down and look good doing it. She is oozing with confidence. I don't know, I would love to see it. I'd pay to see that. Can the Island Warrior Leia Makoa defeat the Fab Four Enforcer Vicky Lynn McCoy? We will find out in tonight's main event. Making their way to the ring, accompanied by the greatest attorney in the world, Sofia Lopez, from the land of enchantment, New Mexico, and Los Angeles, California, Sylvia Sanchez and Vivian Rivera. Welcome to Wow. My name is Stephen Dickey, joined as always by David McLean and former world champion AJ Mendez. And we're kicking things off here with the self-proclaimed world's greatest attorney, Sofia Lopez. And she might just be that in the fact that Sofia Lopez went searching. She wanted a tag team to represent just as she did with Cage Heat many years ago. And she spoke to Vivian Rivera about the opportunities that could come her way if she joined with her. And soon as she did, the world's greatest attorney, Sofia Lopez, went looking and she found Sylvia Sanchez. And I've got to tell you, and I think you'd agree, AJ, she's got a special package here in these two. Definitely. Her scouting skills might rival uh, Lana Stark. Now that would be an also another great match for a while. Talking last week about putting Vicky Lynn McCoy in there against Lana's and champ. That would be a good match. Sophia Tony versus Lana. Can I rest it? And Kona, the Tonga Twins! Oh boy, the Tonga Twins. Special thank you to them. A couple of weeks ago, they went out and met with Wendy McMahon and her child did a little meet and greet with Chase, and that was so important to him. And everybody that joined Chase and his mother, Wendy, and they were just fabulous, the Tonga Twins. The fans have really taken to them. I didn't think they were going to take to them, actually. How did I feel like the second I saw them, I was just drawn to them. They're, they're enigmatic and they're charismatic. And you fall in love with them just as people, and then you see them in the ring and they move as powerful as any wrestler I've ever seen, male or female. There is no doubt about the power of them. In the old days, some may remember, I used to jump in to break up some action. I tried to do it in that big match with the Fabulous Four, and I was actually frightened. The power and the strength <laughs> of the Tonga Twins had me shaking for a little bit, AJ. Yeah, I would not want to fight these ladies. I'd have to join you on that workout protein program you're on <laughs> to feel a little more confident. I'm trying to eat those candy bars like you like. Protein bars. Coaching bars. Or protein. protein. Protein, not coaching. See, AJ, everything starts to go when you get my age. <laughs> Even the hearing now. It's just not as good as I was. Sylvia Sanchez and Kona gonna start this match off for their respective teams. Sylvia Sanchez trying to Irish whip Kona, but easier said than done. And look how fast Kona reversed it. Kona obviously in the green boots tonight, as possibly always. Another body slam on Sylvia Sanchez, feeling the effects of that on the lower back. And that's the green laces, fans, not the boots. I can tell black from green with the laces. <laughs> so, okay, so your hearing, is, your hearing is going, but you're not colorblind. Exactly. There we go. The eyes are still jamming away perfectly. Double hip toss takes Sylvia down, kick out. And we like what we see in the Tonga Twins, but also Sylvia and Vivian. 
Sylvia and Vivian have definitely made a name for themselves in the tag team division as well. Like you mentioned earlier, it's been a while since Sofia Lopez has had gold on any of her clients. The Caged Heat, the former World Tag Team Champions, the inaugural World Tag Team Champions of WOW. Can she repeat that success with Sylvia and Vivian? Well, they've been racking up fans victory after victory on WOW, and this is their biggest challenge to date. The Tonga Twins are definitely their biggest challenge. The Tonga Twins, you've got to believe, are the top contenders for the World Tag Team titles. After that great eight-person tag team match that we saw the Tonga Twins, Leia Makoa, and Tiki Chamorro win. Well, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, getting that match for the Tonga Twins and the Miami Sweet Heat. I'm working on it. Meanwhile, until that happens, the Tonga Twins are just going to run through every tag team and wow. And they've been on a collision course with Vivian Rivera and Sylvia Sanchez. Yeah, you said run through them, but they may not be running through anybody today. Yeah, Vivian Rivera just ran through Chaos there with a clothesline kick out by Chaos. The count of two. And about a moment ago, Sophia got a little involved. Ref kind of caught the tail end of it. I think that she saw something on one of uh, uh, Chaos's boots. She was just trying to clean it off, she was trying to help out. But Chaos is in trouble right now. This is the first time I can remember she's been in trouble. Yeah, the Tonga Twins were normally used to them dominating their contest. They make short work of every opponent. Meanwhile, Sylvia and Vivian really taking it to them here. But Chaos continues to grab that right side of her jaw. And it's been troubling for her. Now her sister trying to get back into the ring to try to break up the action from Sylvia doing some damage on Chaos. Look at Vivian's smile. Now, AJ, you've noticed since she came to WOW, have you seen that smile that bright before? She just loves this. She's had a bit of an attitude shift, but, you know, you got to love it. She's realized that she needed to fight a little bit dirtier, get her hands a little bit dirtier, team up with some people that she, she has never really, really found that sort of kinship with, and now she's got this great team, and she's on a winning streak, and she's loving it. Chaos fighting back here, whips Vivian into the... No, a reversal. Vivian goes for a clothesline. Drop kick by Sylvia Sanchez. Vivian goes into the cover. Double cover by <laughs> Sylvia Sanchez, too. Taking two to pin her. Gotta do what you gotta do. Chaos is definitely not moving as smoothly as she has in the past. Now she finally gets her twin sister in, fans. Let's see. Oh, see what happens. We're seeing it. Clothesline, body slam, press. Oh, look at this. But again, Chaos not fully up for that challenge. Look at her struggle to get up. Kona kick to the midsection. The Tonga Twins have Vivian up. Double suplex. As Sofia Lopez checks on Sylvia on the other side of the ring, Sylvia goes in to break up the pinfall attempt. See how Chaos was a bit slower. Chaos now she just says, let's toss Sylvia out. And holy smokes, that sounded like a lot of bricks. I'm looking right over the barricade here. She's okay. If we need medical attention. I believe Sophia is going to be the last one. Vivian Rivera, Tonga Twist. Kona going for the cover. One, two, three. Here are your winners, Chaos and Kona, the Tonga Twist. Kona made the pin happen and Chaos was in trouble. Last time we saw her, she was taking advantage of the momentary distraction to defeat Jesse Jones. And even then, she still had to put her feet on the ropes. BK Rhythm, she's proud of that winning streak, but let's be real. She hasn't been winning those matches exactly fairly. She's also consistently taunting the children in the crowd. It's like she, she's just after my heart, you know? Throwing them off their game before the game even starts. BK Rhythm might be able to laugh, but when you hear that beat, do, 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 she doesn't dance. I'm gonna have to give her dance lessons. And her opponent from the DMV, Foxy Fierce! All right, fans, here we've got it, Foxy Fierce, whose sister we mentioned before the break is here at ringside, her sister, Roxy. Foxy's here, Foxy's here. 
The sisters are in the house. We got a lot of sisters in Wow. Hey, Tonga sisters, Carlson sisters. No sibling rivalries. Three more coming. Foxy Fierce bringing a lot of energy to the ring. BK Rhythm surely gonna have a wrap for us. Oh, she's already got the mic in hand. She knows how to bring it or get it fast now. All right, all right. Y'all calm down for a second. Calm down. Foxy, I, I hope you're in the groove getting ready to prove that you got the moves to remove BK from the top because I'm unstoppable. Nobody can top my flow. I know you got rhythm, but this is my show. And it's about to be lights out at your disco. Oh, come on. BK Rhythm gonna shut down Studio 54, it sounds like. Well, just so you know, that was shut down years ago. <laughs> Foxy Fierce, BK Rhythm. Don't bring up anything about dancing or disco. I know it all is. <laughs> That's true, David. You are the expert on disco. Yeah, I got it, baby. Foxy Fierce and BK Rhythm lock up in the center of the ring. BK backs her into the corner. It wasn't at that Chicago event where they burned all the disco records. I thought that was a disgrace. Oh, sure, that broke your heart. Were you there, AJ? I'm 35. Oh. I'm proud of it. See, unfortunately, <laughs> neither one of us were, were at that one. You guys weren't even bored. <laughs> Foxy Fierce honoring the referee's instructions. Referee Paige Prinzavalli, the official in this one. I think that was a statement and a backhanded slap by AJ. She just was telling me in one move, David, I'm young. I wasn't there. You're old. You can't, I, we can't rule it out, not with AJ. No, I think she's all slick, man. That was a backhanded compliment. <laughs> I got your number on that, AJ. Here we go, fans, into the action, in the squared circle. The atomic drop followed by the drop kick. Oh, yeah, up high, Foxy Fierce. What a combination for Foxy Fierce. Irish whip sends BK into the ropes, reversal. Foxy Fierce going up, what's she got in mind here? Arm drag, out of the split. Look at that center of gravity there. Foxy Fierce going up. Oh, little dance move there, followed by the flip. BK sent right back on her backside. Hip smash into BK's head. Still BK's a little down. Butt to the face, it's a 10. That was a little awkward if you ask me. It's to demoralize her opponent, you know? How do you how do you come back from getting some booty to the face? Insult to injury, as they say. Oh my, Foxy just got dropped right on her head. Now BK working over the shoulder. Driving that arm right into the bottom rope. Now AJ, when you started, everyone in the WOW Training Center that's working out now to become a WOW superhero, they have an inauguration, if you will, bruise on their hip from hitting those you know, running the ropes. Right. Did you have that when you started? The, the, the bruise all over the body and under the arm from oh, hitting yeah. the ropes? Especially for shorter people, you get it in weird places where you kind of don't fit in the ring properly. And anytime you take a break, you always get that, you gotta toughen the skin up again. Serious question, how do you get used to it or over it? You have to toughen up your skin like an orange. That's what I would always say. You gotta get orange peel skin. Just the more and more you fight, the thicker your skin gets. Yeah, literally. But I still have some bruises. I still have ring scars from wrestling. That that's scar from, right there yeah. is from wrestling. That's from hitting the ground all the time. <laughs> BK Rhythm taking control of this contest. She went for a kick, Foxy Fierce into the schoolboy one, two, kick out. I thought that was it. BK went for a clothesline. Foxy into the pinfall attempt one again. Kick out by BK. BK Rhythm is dazed. Knee to the midsection. Interesting single leg face buster there. Oof. I mean, that's gonna be rough. That's the whole knee to the jaw. Kick out by Foxy Fierce. Almost like a single leg code breaker. Yeah. BK Rhythm not enjoying the fact that these fans are firmly behind Foxy Fierce and not behind her. You got that right. It's a chant we can't repeat. Yes. We are televised. Ripley Page Prince of Ali checking on Foxy Fierce here. Foxy Fierce is fighting out of it though. BK 
rhythm. Loving blows to the back of Boxy Fierce. Boxy with into the ropes, into the turnbuckle. Oh, she got the feet up. BK set rolling. She hit the turnbuckle, maximum velocity. This is her opening, she's gotta take advantage. BK smartly hoisted Foxy up and over that third rope, and here she comes back in quickly. Foxy with the go behind. What's she thinking here? What's she going for? BK's trying to fight out of it. Short arm and over the running back kick that came out of nowhere. And that heel clipped her right into the jaw. Interesting pinball. Kick out by BK Rhythm. Doesn't make it happen. Foxy with these unique pinball attempts. You gotta respect the effort there. Foxy's limping a little. Definitely worse for wear after these attacks by BK Rhythm. Singling out that leg. Now BK's got her in the full Nelson. Trying to take her up. Foxy dropped down. What's she thinking here? Oh, she goes for the, goes for the victory roll. No! Kick out by BK Rhythm. She has really interesting pinning combination. I love it. Foxy Fierce can get you out of nowhere. It's unorthodox, and that's how she gets the pins. Yoshi taught it! And on cover! Two, three, that's it! Foxy Fierce gets the victory! Here is your winner! Foxy loving it on the outside! There's her sister in the ring. Introducing first from New Orleans. Take a break so I didn't have to get stuck here during this entrance. You are stuck here, AJ. <sighs> no getting out. I got you oh, trapped. I've heard if I just don't believe in Holly Dead, she can't hurt me. I say her vision's based on move. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh, look at the tongue. Oh, the tongue is coming out. Oh, thank you. Look at what's in there. That? No, thank you, Holly Dead. We don't want any. No, we don't. What was in there? That was something else. No, she can move on. <laughs> Oh, well, these these poor fans in attendance here, always subject to whatever Holiday brings to the table. I'm still not sure what it is yet. It's like she has my soul. That's at least one of the things she has at the table right now. Yes, yes. I'm going to talk to Americana. You saw a glimpse of Levi there, and uh, he always cheers his mom on, but maybe he shouldn't see this at Holiday. Yeah, poor little Levi doesn't need to be exposed to this. No, I shouldn't be exposed to this. You're exposed to a lot. Unfortunate. I will throw that child in front of me so I can escape. AJ, AJ. I'm just saying, I'm just being honest. Let's take it and easy. And their opponents from Bardstown, Kentucky and Buffalo, New York, Jesse Jones and Americana. Jesse Jones and Americana. Last time we saw Jesse Jones, she was distracted at ringside by little Levi. That's right, but we've got to talk about the fact that Jesse Jones was undefeated. No one had ever beaten Jesse Jones. She snaps on that, that arm bar and she was winning victory after victory after victory. And in her last matchup, what we saw, because little Levi took a shine to those raps that BK Rhythm does. Yeah, the kids love the raps. And she and Levi shouted. Don't hurt her, Jesse. Don't, don't hurt her. That took Jesse Jones' eye off of victory. So you gotta wonder, is she getting soft? Referee Mark Harris signaling for the bell. Jesse Jones starting this off with Siren the Voodoo Doll. David, you bring up a good point. Have we ever seen Jesse Jones this vulnerable, this exposed, this raw before? She's opened herself up to this tag team with Americana and let little Levi into her heart. I mean. Sadly, it really hasn't paid dividends in the ring for her. No. Speaking of vulnerable, she's coming back from a serious knee injury. I don't That's know how, true, too. Uh, there, oh, you saw it right yep. there, AJ, right there. She did that maneuver, and you could see her just touch the left knee. It's not totally healed. Well, she has the brace off. Last time we saw her, she had the brace on the knee. But I mean, clearly it's getting better, but it's not 100%. Not yet. As Americana, backflip, handspring, elbow. Cyrus the Moon and all, snapmare out of the corner. Americana. What's she thinking here? Going into the cover. 
kick out by Siren the Voodoo Doll. Holland on the outside. Ricky and Wow, but has learned quickly take advantage of opportunities to go for a pin. Now speaking of Jesse Jones again, the meniscus was not torn. We got the MRIs. So possibly though, she's rushing back into the ring too early. I mean, that's Jesse Jones style. I had a strained MCL before. I've had a strained meniscus. It's, it's, it's something that stays with you. Sometimes you almost wish it would tear so you can have a really clean rehab process, but not a nagging injury that never really heals. So you're saying the injury repairs in a very awkward way, right? It does. It kind of sticks around with you for a little longer than you'd like it to. It's something you don't really think about with these injuries, how they nag and last and have long-lasting effects. Well, that's where I was going. I'm going to ask AJ another serious question. Do you believe you still have nagging injuries today other than the neck injury, of course? Oh, gosh. I mean, my neck, I put my lower back sciatica, my elbows pop every now and then. Sometimes my hands go tingly and I can't really feel them and I look like a wizard who's trying wow. to cast a spell. But yeah, many things. So any of you reporters out there that interview any wrestlers in the WOW superheroes and you question what's going on here in professional wrestling and in the squared circle, let me tell you, they're sacrificing the positive of what they sacrifice in the squared circle. Americana going to town right now. Arm drag on Holiday. I respect the fact that Americana and Jesse Jones not psyched out, not intimidated by the mind games and the tactics of Siren and Holiday. They try to defeat their opponents mentally before their opponents ever set foot in the ring. Levi showing some grimace there. Little Levi not happy. Mother's being taken to the woodshed here by Holiday. His uncle's with him tonight. Holiday just stretching out Americana. Americana's pretty flexible, but I'm sorry, there's, you can't fix that. Did Holiday just? Yes, she did. Just lick me through the air? Yes, she did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. AJ, I think that means she's marked you. Oh my God. Well, luckily, she hasn't been marked, actually. They're thankful, oh. because that would be a memory she doesn't want. AJ, did you just get a chill? I I just saw you shiver. I think that it's possible that now I belong to her. <laughs> I want the air conditioning in this place. I'll we'll keep you that. updated on uh, AJ's status in regards to Holiday. But back in the ring, Americana trying to fight out of it, trying to get to her partner, Jesse Jones, a siren the boot at all, trying to cut off the ring. She got the tag. She got the tag. Jesse Jones. Jesse coming in, but still wait a minute, fans wait a minute, look. Wait a minute. She was off balance. Referee now throwing her back. Holiday and Voodoo taking advantage of the opportunity, jamming away on Americana. Jesse Jones is mad as a hornet out there, referee. yelling at the referee Harris. Referee did not see the tag, therefore Americana is still the legal competitor. She's got to keep going. Jesse Jones wants in this match in the worst way possible. Meanwhile, Holiday just continuing to toy with Americana. Americana goes up. What's your thing in here? Sunset flip. One, two. No, I thought that was three. Come Only on. Two that count. had to be three. Looking at you again, AJ. I'm, I'm getting worried now. She said something about hair. Does she want my hair? If I give her a locket, she leave me alone. To paraphrase Miley Cyrus, she's got her sights set on you. Oh, yeah. I don't want the hair to be given to the voodoo doll. No, 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 no. Then we know what's going to happen with that. Happen that. I like you just the way you are, AJ. Don't change. Don't give them anything. Don't give them a piece of you. <laughs> oh, I don't think I have a choice. You do as long as I protect you. <laughs> Siren the Voodoo doll missed that Oof. cannonball in the corner. This is Americana's chance. She's got to get to Jesse. She's got to get to Jesse. Come on. Reach up. She made the tag. Got an injured Jesse's coming in. She's not fluid. She's not 100%. But she's doing darn well. Hey, Jesse Jones at 70% is better than some wrestlers at 100%. Yeah, Let's Dorf be honest. The has made her forget she has a hurt knee. She's going to town right now on Holiday. The shoulder block. She's warming up that shoulder. She's warming it up. The old Jesse Jones is back. She calls that the target practice as she takes down Holiday. No doubt Jesse Jones is back, but that left knee is not. Jesse Jones still trying to work over that arm of Holiday, her signature maneuver. You can see Jesse Jones not quite in sync, not quite no, in step. She is not. Missing a little bit of her timing there that she normally has. She's normally impeccable. Americana wanted the tag. Jesse Jones wanted to finish off Holiday. That broke Jesse Jones' rhythm. 
Americana, her son Levi in the audience. She's purely distracted here. She has been the X Factor, the difference maker for the Fabulous Four. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Without Vicky Lynn McCoy, Penelope Pink would not be the world champion. Sweet Heat would not be the tag team champions. We've seen her so instrumental in every victory the Fabulous Four has gained. Now she's on her own here in singles competition against one of the top contenders for the world title, Leia Makoa. Well, you're mentioning that, that Leah Makoa is the top contender. But Lana wants to eliminate any more possibilities of anyone else coming after her championship. And by doing so, she agreed to this match quickly. She wants Vicki Lynn to take out Leia Makoa from championship and consideration. Her opponent. here and she was happy to accept the challenge she didn't care about the wishes of lana star trying to eliminate her she said bring her i will take the enforcer on and i'm going to take the enforcer out now this is something i did not see this in the dressing room earlier today when i saw leia makoa she has her shoulder now taped the shoulder is taped obviously one of the physicians downstairs was called in to take care of that shoulder. I don't know what that's gonna play in tonight's big matchup. The last time we saw Leia Makoa, she's been having fun with the Island Dynasty, the Tonga Twins and Tiki Chamorro. But now it's time to get serious again. Now it's time to prove why she was the top contender for the WOW World Championship. Leia Makoa with a victory here against Vicky Lynn McCoy. She will go right back to the top contender for the WOW World Championship. Basking in her fan worship. And she's got a lot of them here. No doubt about it. So fans, stay tuned. We gotta take a pause for the cause. We're coming back in a moment with the main event. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, fans. It's the main event as promised. Leia Makoa against the enforcer, Vicky Lynn McCoy. And Referee Jeff McGowan signaling for the bell. Leia Makoa coming in with the best press, putting the fist to Vicky Lynn McCoy. Coming in hot. You know, the problem with uh, athletic tape, that compression tape, when you're feeling an injury, it certainly helps you. You need it tightened up. You need to feel a little bit stronger. But it is essentially putting a, a target exactly where you're feeling weak for your opponent to attack immediately. It's a bullseye for Vicky Lynn McCoy. You got to be thinking about that right now. Speaking to the other non-athletes, is it compressing the shoulder? What is it doing, AJ? It's almost like a, if you were to wrap a knee, or if you got those awkward parts of your shoulder, you can't really wrap that entirely just to not have movement. So it gives you some movement, but it keeps that injury in place. It might, it might feel strained. It might feel that uh, I'm not sure. She might have a torn rotator. But her mobility is still there. It allows you a bit more of mobility while keeping you the pain can take. Is it masking pain, though? Is it masking what's wrong? Should she be in there is what I'm actually asking right now. Gosh, we'll find out later. She might be feeling it tonight. We're sore as hell tomorrow. Look at Lady McCullough fired up here against Vicky Lynn McCoy. Taking the chops, taking the strikes. Look at her dishing it out. Dishing it out to Vicky Lynn. Take it down. Take it down the enforcer. And that took two big slaps to the chest to get Vicky Lynn down. The enforcer, the power horse of the four horse. 
Seven, this could be it, no! Vicky Lynn pulls that right shoulder right up, and Leia Makoa can't believe it. Jeff McGowan's right on top of the action. There's a kick to the midsection. Leia Makoa is still going to town. And now, what's this? No! No! With that bad shoulder, she's trying to do it. She picks up Vicky Lynn! McCoy, but not all the way! The shoulder couldn't do it! Now Vicky Lynn jams that right shoulder of Leia McCoa's! Lana Star on the outside watching! Leia twisting, turning, and not able to do it because of the right shoulder! That pink thunder bomb that we've seen that be the result of the end of the match is how it That's it! Surprise! I couldn't believe it! Vicky Lynn McCoy just made quick work out of Leia McCullough! Yeah.